everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Thanks for stopping by. And for those of you who are new here, new here, I hope you'll subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes in the bottom of the screen there. And don't forget to click on that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Today on Ann Makes, I have a Dollar Tree haul, a Dollar Tree haul that I did a few weeks ago. I did this haul in between uh, returning from my trip to Europe and before going to my trip to upstate New York in Bethel, I went to the UNESCO historical site of the original Woodstock of 1969 in Bethel, New York. And yeah, so now I'm back from my travels. I don't think I'm going anywhere for a while aside from uh, locally. <laughs> So I, I do have another upcoming uh, weekend getaway, but it's actually quite close by. So here's a Dollar Tree haul that I did. There's a lot of stuff to show you. So depending on how much time it takes, I may have to uh, present this to you in more than one video. So I picked up a whole bunch of things at Dollar Tree thinking of Halloween. I had a... Uh, as some of you may know, I am, work as an influencer, brand ambassador, core blogger, blogger, whatever, you know, uh, designer in the arts and crafts industry. So that means I work with different companies. I make projects for them. I make videos, uh, po blog posts. I write articles for digital magazines. So I, I'm always uh, doing something either for... Um, for somebody else, for uh, a client, an employer, and then there's this channel too. So I'm always in need of different ideas, inspiration, and lots of supplies. And I get a lot of things, uh, little things uh, from the dollar stores because it's really affordable and there's great potential with a lot of the items there. I do get a lot of product uh, and tools from manufacturers and big companies, but sometimes I, I just need a little something else that they don't make. So uh, I love going to the dollar store to see how I can find something to supplement that. So I went to the Dollar Tree. I picked up some of this knitting yarn, the I think it's called eyelash yarn. It's so soft and silky, this stuff, and I just thought, this is great for Halloween. I'm sure I already have this in my stash, but I had the Halloween blog posts and videos in mind, so I just thought I'm gonna grab this stuff for Halloween only. And I got this yarn in black, and I also got this gorgeous eyelash yarn in these different, different autumn kind of colors that's what I call them there's rust in here and oranges and browns and just some beautiful lush colors and gosh this stuff is so soft so uh you know whether I need to add a little something to tie make a bow or add a little detail this is what i would be using that for I also picked up these mini oh no that's not from the Dollar Tree that's another store I picked up a pair of magic gloves. I'm always buying magic gloves at dollar, the dollar stores, and uh, this was the first of the season that I've seen, so I got a pair to leave in my car. I end up buying several pairs every year because I end up losing them, or I lose just one, so this, I always have a backup for my backup because here uh, in the winter, it is darn cold and uh, I just cannot grab, some days I just cannot grab the steering wheel of my car unless I am wearing gloves. So these with the grip, the magic gloves have the, the grippies. I'm able to grab hold of the steering wheel and keep my fingers warm. And they're thin enough that I am able to control things very well. I can't wear really bulky mittens or bulky gloves when I'm driving. So these are just perfect. For that. I saw some more rolls of this, I want to call it the right thing, the ribbon. They just call it ribbon. Okay, so I was going to say it's meshy ribbon, but it's this golden uh, type of ribbon, ribbon, and it's got like a gold maple leaf on it. So I thought they, I had 
bought what was left the last time I was there, but I guess they found some more, and uh, I got a few more rolls of that. I got that design, and I also got this design that is more of a gold leaf on a white tule type of ribbon. And this is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous material. There is so much potential for this. I mean, you could uh, use this to make reefs. You can use this to make gorgeous bows. You can use this to make ATCs. You can use this in a scrapbook. You can. You could even sew this to another piece of fabric to, to make a lovely uh, tablecloth. Oh my goodness, there's just, the possibilities are endless with this. And seriously, for the price, that we pay this a uh, dollar if you're in the US, a dollar 25 in Canada uh, for these rolls of ribbon. You can't go wrong. I lucked out my this Dollar Tree that I go to. I live in between two Dollar Trees. That's all I have. There, one is 20 minutes away, and the other one is 25 minutes away from where I live. And they have a policy that they don't throw stuff out. I'm like, I've heard rumors that the Dollar Trees throw out stuff and stuff, and I just they, as far as I know, I've been told that the two that I shop at, they only throw out stuff that is absolutely destroyed, broken, past the expiration date, uh, stuff that is really not usable. Otherwise, they truly believe in uh, trying to sell it off. So they have lots of clearance items. They, like this is stuff from last year. So they are napkins here for 50 cents. They say scary and they have this lovely spider web and well, these napkins are great to use in mod podging, decoupage projects, as well as to be used as napkins if you're having an event, a party, a get together or for meal time. Um, I remember when my kids were in school, I would put fun napkins in their lunch bags to take to school. So uh, they really like that. Or on, I would bake cupcakes for the classroom and I would bring these fun napkins to the classroom also. Um, so there's lots of ways to use these napkins and for 50 cents, uh, how can I go wrong? So I appreciate that my store, my two, my two stores that I go to do that, that they clear out stuff and they also donate anything after a while they just can't keep the stuff they do donate it to the local food banks and local charities so kudos for them for doing that uh another no this was not a clearance item but i picked up this bag of 50 rings and they're all skulls and i just thought there's a lot of projects that i I could use just the little skulls in and I could just cut off the ring part if I don't need the ring and I could probably try to flatten the skeleton head by putting something over it, something heavy over it. So yeah, that's why I got these for any type of uh, projects that I could use a little skeleton head for. Now these are new to me. My I had not seen these at the Dollar Tree that I go to. Um, and I just loved the color. These are just those, uh, I call them pony beads. There's 300 pieces in here. This is the crafter square. And uh, I just love the metallic colors. There's pink and blue and gold and silver. And I just thought this is great for all sorts of crafting projects, whether you are making jewelry with your children or uh, I'm thinking they are really cute accent pieces for making tassels and uh, doodads to hang from pocket letters. So yeah, endless possibilities. I was fortunate enough to find another clearance item uh, and it's this picture. They had several of, I guess they're stock from last year. These acrylic pictures and they had uh, a couple in the black left and, a, and some in the orange. And I got the black one with this scary, spooky, like skeleton face on it. So I got that for 50 cents. How can I go wrong? So uh, I will definitely be using this around Halloween uh, for either uh, just pouring water or putting some punch in or juice or whatever. And some more clearance items. I've seen these before. I've picked them up before, but they still had some. I don't know why people aren't just buying them all out, but I decided, well, 
they've been there for weeks and nobody else is buying them so i'll buy i'll buy a whole bunch again uh, I got these jewels, these bags of gemstones. Again, this is Crafter Square. There are 60 pieces in here of uh, these acrylic little Halloween-style jewels. There's even some skull and crossbones in here in that orange plastic there. And there's purple, black, uh, green, you know, orange, great Halloween-y colors. I also got the bags of sequins like for 50 cents. I got this, there's three little bags here of black, orange, and purple sequins. I mean, I could use this any time of year, not just Halloween, uh, but yeah, they're great. And I, I have tons of sequins and I've got tons more now. So I got a couple of those and here's another bag of the gems. So I jumped on that because of all the crafting possibilities. Oh, I was really pleased to see some Thanksgiving things uh, at Dollar Tree. Here in Canada, we are having Thanksgiving um, this weekend. And I, know, and I know in the U.S. you don't have Thanksgiving until November. So it's really nice that it, to find Thanksgiving items this early uh, in the season for us here in Canada. And I only saw this at one store. And these are some... Harvest mini crackers. I love using these at um, our dinners when we have we set a nice table for Thanksgiving. We do this also at Christmas and uh, Easter. We like to you know for for have family over and have a nice meal. And I love to put these at everybody's uh, place because we just they're just fun. Everybody loves popping them and laughing at. The silly little doodad that will be inside the cracker if there is anything and we just they're just a lot of fun the kids love these the adults love them so i got a couple boxes of these crackers and there's six pieces in each box and they're very very tiny but they're just they're just cute and fun and then another thing to decorate the table with I picked up this set of Halloween paddle balls just because this one had a black kitty on it and all these other ones. Um, I'll probably just give them away. I'll make some little goodie bags for some kids. Uh, I do have kids that come trick-or-treating every year and some of them have allergies. They can't have some of the candy. So I always have uh, little things and goodness knows I have enough stuff to give them uh, for for the kids that, you know, can't have the candy and stuff. So, got that. And, uh, oh, I did pick up some Christmas items. They had these rolls of jute twine. And they had this pretty red and the pretty green. Now, I only picked up one of the green because I thought, hmm, this seems like the same green jute cord that you can buy in the um, automotive or household section and they sell this for like gardening so i thought hmm it's the same thing but the red one i didn't have any so i just got two little rolls of that and of course because they are for christmas they make them very tiny rolls <laughs> and i got some tablecloths here for thanksgiving these are just the vinyl or plasticky cheapy uh, table covers so with the leaf print and I got two of these because we have a very big table and I usually put this just to protect my nice wooden table from any uh, spills that could drop can be on the table the top tablecloth and that nobody tells me and then the next day I have a big circle on my table so this just kind of avoids that um, oh, I found another package of napkin in the clearance for, this one was 25 cents, so I think this is, uh, two years ago, <laughs> I don't know how they do figure this out, but, uh, these napkins are cute, there's a spider in the center, spider web, and it says spider cider, uh, just, so, more napkins, I will not be low on napkins this year. And I got this bag of felt stickers. I have hauled these uh, last year, but I, I really like the kitty one the most. And I do give a lot of these away in uh, Thanksgiving loot bags, so uh, 
Halloween loot bags. And uh, I'll have the little pumpkins for Thanksgiving as well. And the, oh, they have, I don't know if you've been to Dollar Tree lately, but the craft medley is out in full swing. Uh, there are so much, they have so many of these beautiful wood shapes. And I got some of the leaves. I love the shape of them. I love they're just so pretty. You get 23 pieces in here for $1.25. This just blows my mind. Uh, I know other companies in the industry who sell very similar product, and they will sell this maybe like $8. So really, this is really cool of Multicraft to have this uh, this line for us of Craft Medley. And you know, also by Multicraft uh, in the Craft Medley, I got a package of ring clasps. For a friend who is in need of some of these to do some jewelry repair. So got that. And oh, uh, they had some of the magnetic sheets, and I just picked a one up because I just got a die and I couldn't remember if I still had some magnetic sheets at home, so I picked it up in case I didn't. And I got some of these stickers, the Day of the Dead. I love these. I really like the little banners too. They're really, really cute. These are so cute. And look at the little hats. Very cute stickers. And I got some of these Halloween puffy stickers because there's these cookie, cookie kitties and the dog skeleton. I love it. Love those. I picked up some of these LED tea light candles that are good for 240 hours total. I guess that's both of them. And the orange. These are great for putting in pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. And I picked up... I knew um, this was before I went to Paris. No, this was after I went to Paris. And I didn't buy any trinkets like this while I was in Paris because... They were overpriced. <laughs> you know, I was like, I wasn't gonna pay $10 for something like this in Paris when I knew I could get something similar in Canada at the Dollar Tree. So that's what I did. I waited when I came back, I went to do a couple Dollar Trees and I found it. I found the little Eiffel Tower in this little snow globe that says Paris. So now I will have a Paris souvenir that was made in China when the other ones in Paris were made in China too uh, from my Paris trip. But I bought it here in Canada. <laughs> I got another one of these um, faux mercury style type of bottles. I am going to be filling these up with different uh, bath products and putting them along the edge of my bath in my bathroom. And what else did I pick up? Oh, uh, I saw these were new. The Jot acrylic paints in these tubes uh i have so much acrylic paint that i don't really need more but i just picked up this tube in white because i use a lot of white anyway and i i really bought it to show you guys that they have uh these tubes of acrylic paint so and i'm looking forward to just trying it out to see how it how it works and i can never go wrong with getting white i i use it so much so that's why I picked that up. So with the Happy Mail I showed you at the beginning and all the stuff I just showed you from uh, the Dollar Tree, I'm going to end the vi the video here, otherwise it'll be really too long. And it just takes too much time to upload to YouTube, and it's just crazy. So I, I'm going to shoot another video to show you the rest of my Dollar Tree haul. It, it, it's a big haul. So thank you so much for watching uh, this video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would appreciate a like, a thumbs up. Please comment. Don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Stay crafty and I'll see you very soon after the next video. Bye.